Okay, audio check, Jake. Audio check myself. Hi hey guys, welcome back to Afro TV. I'm Jake. I'm Darren. And we are here today to test a myth. I don't know if it's a myth or a fact. We're about to find out. But uh, as you can see, we have a bit of a setup here. Uh, everyone keeps saying that tire pressures are the key to off-roading. Uh, lower your tire pressures, lower your tire pressures. Everyone keeps saying that. Um, the reason to do that is to get better traction. That's what most of us think or know. The question is, how much does lowering your tire pressures actually increase your traction? So what we're going to do is Jake has a crane scale. Don't ask me why he has a crane scale, but he has a <laughs> crane scale. And we've hooked him up to the two cars. And we're basically going to do a little test here with Jake's tires at 55 PSI. Then we'll drop them at 25 PSI and then we'll drop them at 10 PSI. And we're going to see how much pull it requires to, to pull the FJ uh, at each of those PSI's. And so as soon as Jake starts to lose traction, the test is over. We've got a camera on here so we can capture the results. And yeah, we're going to see what the difference in tire pressure actually makes. I mean, we're clearly scientists and you know, yes. we know what we're doing. Um, so, you know, it'll be perfect. To be clear, we have no idea what the results will be. Uh, this might not even be a video because <laughs> it might be, be no difference. <laughs> um, but we'll give it a try. Uh, and like Darren said, the idea is to slowly start accelerating until uh, the patrol loses traction and record how much um, weight it was pulling. Hopefully, if the tire pressures are lower, it should pull with more strength, meaning it's got more traction. But and let's you get are, into it. And you are on a bit of soft sand there at the front as well, so. Yeah, yeah, so it's on a soft sand. We'll move it between the tests just a little bit so we're not digging into the same um, trenches or, or the same spots, so it's a little bit more fair. Um, but really the question is, like, is there even any difference or not? Let's find out. All right, let's do it. All right, just scream at me when I lose traction. Science experiment number one. 55 PSI. Please don't break my FJ. Okay, the FJ is moving. The FJ is moving and you've lost traction. You're burying. Stop. That was perfect. Because the FJ buried a little bit. Yeah. Oh man, there's still one ton of force on this. Wow. Well, let's stand clear. Well. As you guys can see, we stopped pulling, but the tension in the rope is still one ton. So, just because you stop pulling doesn't mean that this is not dangerous. Stay clear. So we are at 25 psi on all the tires. Experiment number two is about to commence. FJ is moving. And you're bogging a little bit. Well guys, just a quick update. Uh, we did a 25 PSI run, uh, but we've been pulling the FJ quite a bit. 
and it looked like we went above the 1.5 tons but we're not 100% sure so what we want to do is we just buried the FJ a little bit just so there's a little bit more um, traction and resistance and we'll try the 25 PSI one more time so here we go go okay, let's do it Okay, I'm ready to go. Yeah, recording. All right, so I just, I'm not on a break anymore. I'm gonna start adding some gas. Stop. All right, and we're spinning. We'll just reverse it back a little bit to relieve some of the tension. All right. Yeah. All right, so this time we're at 10 PSI. We're going to see how much pull and force that makes coming down from 25 to 10. Uh, same conditions, FJ still a bit buried. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm recording, you're good. Copy that. I'm gonna let the brake off. Okay, I'm gonna start going forward. No, no, get the fuck. <laughs> All right. Just getting attacked by a bee. While Dern is getting attacked by a bee, I'm just adding a little bit more gas. Just being really careful with this, gentle. Same as the last two rounds, and trying to repeat it as close as I can. Just building the pressure up. I can definitely feel that it's grabbing a lot more. Stop, 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 stop. Um, I think that I had a little bit more traction this time. Mm -hmm. All right, this is safe. Um, So we will have a look at the numbers just to confirm but as you guys can see the FJ is no longer there and is here um, I yeah. think that was definitely more traction <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the numbers have you tried to turn it off and on again <laughs> thanks that's always the best IT advice you can get <laughs> you'd be surprised on. how many times well, that actually works work won't it <laughs> six 1.7 1 1.8 1.2 1 1. tons well wow. Oh wow, <laughs> um, we have to look at it on a computer, but that looked like almost two tons. Yeah, interesting. That is interesting. What does that prove? I don't know, but we'll need like a scientist to explain all this to us because we're not that clever. So we do the wrap? It's a wrap. You just kick sand on me. Sorry, you want some more? <laughs> 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 all right guys that's the wrap so uh, from what we could see it was around 1.4 tons pulling force at 55 psi and it was close to two tons of pulling force at 10 psi except my fj was moving fairly rapidly at that point um, and that is true because it would probably be more it's just we couldn't get more because we just pulled the fj so at least half a ton more um, what is that? 30% increase in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone calculate in the comments. So it's more. But uh, I think it's at least 30% increase in traction, as far as we could tell, because the FJ started moving. Um, it could, you probably could get a lot more traction. What's your scientific conclusion? Um, lower your tire pressures. Still lower your tire pressures. For Definitely. Stay safe, get bogged, and get unbogged.
So that's it for today's episode. Uh, we've got a few things to talk about. First one, as you can probably see. Nice t-shirt. New t-shirts, mm. nice t-shirt. Yeah, they're pretty cool. If you guys want one, all you need to do is send us your content. We'll put it on YouTube and you get a t-shirt. In other news. Yes. So going forward, once a month, we are gonna be giving away prizes to our subscribers. So if you're watching now and you're subscribed, stay subscribed because you might win something. And if you're watching now and you're not subscribed, subscribe because you might win some cool prizes. That's true. And it's not t-shirts or stickers, it's proper prices. We're talking max tracks, things like that. So make sure you're subscribed. Yep. Cool. All right. It's a wrap. It's a wrap.